Low flow and minimal flow anesthesia can have significant advantages in protecting the patient's lungs by humidifying and warming the gas with which the patient is being ventilated. Anesthesia with low fresh gas flows is a very safe procedure, beneficial to the patient and smart in financial and ecological respects. However, the user needs to be aware of the dynamics of an anesthesia system running on low fresh gas flows and to know the technical prerequisites an anesthesia system needs to fulfill for safe operation. In order to provide the best care for surgical patients, Draeger anesthesia systems support low flow technique in an optimized and safe way with the following technologies. During low flow anesthesia, a leakage can result in an insufficient fresh gas flow, which can impair the ventilation. The breathing systems of all Draeger anesthesia devices consist of only a few parts to reduce the number of connections for potential leakages. And unlike other anesthesia systems, the breathing bag in Draeger devices is an integral part of the breathing system that acts as a fresh gas reservoir and indicator for adequate fresh gas flows. An empty breathing bag indicates a fresh gas deficit and that the fresh gas flow needs to be increased. A low fresh gas flow increases humidification and warming of the breathed gas, which is a clinically desired effect. During long operation time, the high humidity can impose the risk of water accumulation in the breathing system. This can impair performance and the functionality of the system. To minimize condensation, Draeger offers solutions that heat up breathing systems, which help reduce condensation. During low flow anesthesia, to achieve the target MAC values, vaporizer settings have to be higher than those during high flows. At this point, precise and reliable gas measurement is of utmost importance to measure the exact gas concentrations delivered to the patient. For oxygen measurement, different technologies are available on the market. Depending on the technology used, some of the anesthesia devices require a reference gas for precise measurement. This technology implies that the sample gas extracted from the breathing system is mixed with a reference gas, which has a different composition than the gas mix in the breathing system. Therefore, returning this sample gas to the breathing system can significantly alter the gas composition within the breathing system. Especially in low and minimal flow anesthesia, it may lower the portion of oxygen and anesthetic agent and accumulate nitrogen in the entire breathing system. Due to this issue, some devices utilizing this sensor technology may not return sample gas back into the breathing system. However, not returning the sample gas, which is usually approximately 200 milliliters per minute, means a systematic leak of significant magnitude. That's why these devices are not able to operate at flow rates of less than 500 milliliters per minute. Draeger deploys paramagnetic as well as electrochemical O2 sensor technologies, which do not use reference gas, so the sample gas, which is always returned back to the breathing system, does not change the gas composition, and there is no systematic leak which needs to be compensated. Therefore, with Draeger anesthesia devices, it is possible to operate efficiently at flow rates of less than 500 milliliters per minute. The anesthesia device has to be designed accordingly to deliver the gas composition changes quickly to the patient. The breathing system volume and the fresh gas flow rate have significant influence on the reaction time. The higher the breathing system volume and the lower the fresh gas flow means the longer the time constant. The Draeger anesthesia devices are designed for low breathing system volumes with short time constants. The blower ventilator in the Zeus IE and Perseus A500 devices provides a circular flow actively contributing to a shorter time constant. This is especially noticeable when small tidal volumes are used. Depending on the technology used, condensation can impair precise measurement of flow sensors. Ventilators that are depending on this measurement will not be able to perform accurate tidal volume delivery. Draeger devices use flow sensors with heated wire anemometry technology 
which has been proven as very reliable and precise even with low flow rates and thus low tidal volumes. Due to this technology, the Draeger flow sensors are very resistant to humidity and condensation. Even in the unlikely case of a flow sensor failure, via the stepper motor moving the piston, the ventilator always knows the piston's position to calculate the tidal volume to be delivered. Therefore, the functionality of the piston ventilator is independent of flow measurement. The piston ventilator in Primus family and Fabius family devices is designed to deliver precise tidal volumes. Depending on the technology employed, fresh gas flow can also significantly influence the tidal volume delivery and compromise tidal volume accuracy. In some anesthesia machines, fresh gas compensation is used to eliminate this influence. With this technology, the inspiratory flow sensor is monitoring the delivered tidal volume and adjusting the ventilator accordingly to compensate for the fresh gas flow changes. Additionally, if rapid changes in fresh gas settings are made, the system latency causes a delayed compensation of tidal volume. This may result in tidal volume and inspiratory pressure peaks. Moreover, this function depends on the proper functionality and precise measurement of the flow sensors. In case of flow sensor failure or impaired measurement due to condensation, the fresh gas compensation will fail. Also, every time when oxygen flush is used, this will influence the delivered tidal volume. The Draeger-specific solution, called fresh gas decoupling, is a much more direct and effective solution for this issue that ensures that the fresh gas can go to the reservoir bag and scavenging system, both during the in- and expiratory phases. In the Primus family and Fabius family anesthesia devices, the fresh gas decoupling valve ensures that fresh gas flows during inspiration into the reservoir bag and that the piston volume is delivered to the patient so that even when the O2 flush is used, the generated tidal volume and airway pressure do not change. The fresh gas decoupling in Perseus is based on a slightly different concept. When target tidal volume is achieved during inspiration, the blower enables fresh gas to flow into the reservoir bag by reducing the pressure in the inspiratory limb. This ensures that tidal volume and ventilation pressure is not affected. Although low and minimal flow anesthesia offer benefits, the lack of simple-to-use methods to guide anaesthetists on its efficient use can hinder the successful application of low-flow anesthesia. With Perseus A500, as with the Primus family devices, Draeger offers the Econometer and the Low Flow Wizard, which are tools to help the user safely achieve adequate fresh gas flows. These tools analyze data like patient uptake and breathing system leakage and compare the sum of these values with the actual fresh gas flow. Draeger Perseus A500 can offer the intelligent predictive functions VaporView and O2 prediction when used in conjunction with Vapor 3000 and DVapor 3000. The system visualizes both the inspiratory and the expiratory volatile agent concentration and the inspiratory oxygen concentration prediction over the next 20 minutes and a trend of the past 10 minutes. These features offer higher levels of safety and transparency and make the recovery phase easier to manage. Apart from checking the expiratory volatile anesthetic concentration, an age-adapted MAC is displayed on Primus family and Perseus A500 devices, as well as on Zeus IE anesthesia devices. This value helps to determine the current anesthesia depth of the patient. In the auto control mode of Zeus IE, you can set your target values for the inspiratory oxygen concentration and the expiratory anesthetic agent concentration. The Zeus IE will then quickly and accurately achieve these values and maintain them by automatically adapting the fresh gas mix and the injection of volatile anesthetics. 
This simple and safe function also allows you to reduce the consumption of anesthetic agents to a minimum, as it is able to work in closed mode during wash-in and steady state, which means that only the patient uptake is replaced and no gas is wasted via the scavenging. Thus, the costs for gases and volatiles per case are reduced, and the humidification of the inhaled gas is optimized due to a maximum of rebreathing.